is up guys, Julian Mikkel here of Social Vignerons. Welcome back to another wine video. This is episode 32 of the Tasting Wine with Julian series, the series where I taste and review wines we explore and we learn about the world of wine. I also taste wine for you so you know whether you should buy them and experience them or not. So a couple of years ago, I bought at my local supermarket a bottle of Chateau, well it's not actually a Chateau, of just Mouton Cadet, this famous, possibly one of the most famous of all Bordeaux wines. This is an affordable supermarket wine that is broadly exported all around the world. So I bought a bottle of Mouton Cadet at my local supermarket and I wrote a review for my blog, Social Vignerons, I'll link to this article up there. This has been a very, very successful article. As much as I have a lot of respect for the great international wine critics, the Robert Parker and the Jancis Robinson, and I do absolutely respect their palette and their work, but they generally don't bother reviewing and writing about supermarket wines, wines that you and I can afford and drink on a regular basis. So today, to honor the series, I have bought a bottle of Mouton Cadet again, newer vintage, to share what I think about it. This is vintage 2016, so we are going to be digging into this popular Mouton Cadet wine. I do love my Bordeaux wines. I studied winemaking in Bordeaux and I do love my high-end famous top chateaus as well i find those super super interesting and i made a video about the 1855 classification so i love the top top bordeaux wines but bordeaux wine is a big massive uh, wine region of france and a lot of it comes out on the market as mouton cadet so what is mouton cadet you have to know that mouton cadet is a blend it's actually more of a negociant wine it's uh, owned and it's made by the Baron Philippe de Rothschild, who are also the owners of Mouton Rothschild, obviously, as well as quite a few other chateaus uh, around the Bordeaux uh, area, top chateaus. But they also go around the Bordeaux area and buy some wines, often from local smaller producers, as well as some cooperative wineries. They buy wines that they like, uh, that correspond to their quality criteria and they blend them, they form uh, the blend that they like, uh, the best blend possible that they can make at the price point that they have uh, <coughs> to form uh, the Mouton Cadet and to have a relatively consistent quality Bordeaux wine that they can uh, export and that can represent uh, the wines, the simple, affordable wines, thirst quenching wines of Bordeaux on the international markets. So this is not a grower wine, I believe they make no one exactly knows, but I believe they make around 12 million bottles of those. About 70% of them are exported. Uh, you can and the French do buy uh, Mouton Cadet wines, and I found it at the supermarket. Uh, but 70% of it is exported quite a lot uh, to the US, obviously. This retails around $12, uh, 10 to $14 in the US, 11, 12 pounds in the UK, and 12 euros. In Europe, so this is affordable. It's pretty much as affordable uh, as you'll find a Bordeaux wine, unless it's really kind of strange and uh, funky. Um, so let's dig into what Mouton Cadet is worth. Uh, see whether it's any good or not. <clears throat> so 2016, a pretty good, pretty warm, but not overly warm, but a very classic, uh, generous vintage, good ripening conditions uh, for the grapes. So we don't, we do expect a pretty good uh, quality from this uh, 2016 uh, vintage. Straight away, this is a pretty vibrant, shiny red uh, color. It looks useful. It does have some hues of blue and purple, so it does look uh, quite appealing and shiny, uh, really like uh, gorgeous, gorgeous grapes. Uh, this is made from 83% Merlot, 7% Cabernet Franc. Yep, not so many people know about Cabernet Francs, but there's 7% of it, so there is quite a fair amount of Cabernet Franc produced in Bordeaux, but the majority, I think it's about 60 or 70 percent or more of all the wines produced in Bordeaux are Merlots, and this is archetypical example, 83 percent Merlot, 
10% only of Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon is a lot harder to ripen in Bordeaux. It's also going to come through a bit more expensive on the bulk, let's say, bulk wine market. So, and it's also going to be a bit tighter, a bit less generous and a bit less opulent. So they've obviously chosen to go for the richer, fruitier, more expressive grape variety with 83% Merlot in there. Let's see what it tastes like. It smells, um, smells a little bit introverted. It's not overly expressive. There are touches, delicate notes of a bit of raspberry, a bit of pomegranate, a bit of dark cherry, but it's not the rich, dark, opulent uh, Merlot that you'd expect. It is actually a little bit introvert. I was just having a southern French wine before and maybe that's why I'm finding this one a little bit shy. Um, signature classic Bordeaux style with a bit of green pepper, red capsicum, or bell pepper the Americans would say, um, and the typical signature dark cherry, uh, slightly caramel uh, aromatic uh, profile. So on the palate, you get straight away gripped by some uh, grapey tannins. They are a little bit edgy and a little bit, they put you on your toes a little bit, which is a little bit surprising, but this is followed by a bit of a smooth rounded uh, body around it with a bit of sucrosity, a bit of sweetness. Definitely the influence of the Merlot that definitely gives a bit of this caramelly, dark, uh, li cherry, cherry liqueur sort of feel to it, an oily texture. And in the end, the tannins feel relatively small, smooth and rounded uh, on the palate. There is a big burst of uh, dark blackberry and this dark cherry. It's been blended, it's been smooth and uh, well enough to end up with a very vibrant, juicy, dry, salivating wine. The purity of the fruity expression on this is actually very surprising. I was expecting maybe something a little bit more austere, a bit more classic, a bit more on the earthy uh, side of things from, you know, what could have been a very, very classic Bordeaux. This is a classic Bordeaux, but in a very fruity style. So in the end, this is a very drinkable. Um, yeah, it's extremely drinkable. I love the fruitiness that really shines through with the dryness and the savory feel, the salty minerality uh, towards the finish. So this is a very decently well-crafted uh, wine. Mm. Mm. And actually tasting it again, this salivating juicy feel comes from what I can identify a bit of a grapefruity, like grapefruit juice character, which is really, really freshening uh, on the palate. So this is going to be a very, very fruit friendly wine. I mean, on barbecues and grill meats, it's going to be a thirst quenching, but still fruit friendly and salivating wine. So this, you know, it's, uh, it's cheap. Uh, many, many people overlook Mouton Cadet and think, oh, this is just going to be bad and rubbish if I can, uh, uh, you would allow me the expression. But you also have to know that Mouton Cadet, a lot of wine growers from all around the Bordeaux region live for these types of wines, the branded wines that are exported. This makes a lot of people live and allow them to grow their vineyard, grow their land all around the Bordeaux region. Bordeaux can't only be about the top groves and the super, super famous uh, chateaus and all the wealthy rich uh, chateaus around Bordeaux. It's also good that some smaller growers can live around Bordeaux and live about around the, the, the terroir. My point being that Mouton Cadet is a very very decent wine um, and I think from the one I've tried a couple of years ago this is even uh, cleaner, purer, more satisfying in its expression. Uh, actually, I already quite liked it a couple of years ago and I scored it an 85 out of 100 points. I would uh, happily go on an 87, uh, maybe an yeah, 87 uh, out of 100 points. This is decent wine. Give it a go another time. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like Mouton Cadet, if you don't like it and why. I would love to hear your thoughts um, about it, but Certainly the 2016, on top of the black uh, label, which I actually quite like, 
it's a very very decent wine so don't overlook it um, give it a go and tell me what you think um, good expression clean much lighter brighter expression of Merlot than a lot of the Merlots that you find from all around the world looking forward to hear what you thought about this video what you think about this wine looking forward to see you soon in the world of wine cheers sipping and enjoying this wine I was about to forget thank you to all of you who are subscribed to this channel this channel has grown quite a lot lately this is thanks to you you are the reason I keep going and sharing the passion and knowledge that I have about wine thank you for your support we are going to keep exploring and learning and uh, getting better at exploring and learning together and exchanging about the world of wine not many people do this on YouTube not many people have the cojones to share and put themselves out there you are the reason why i'm getting better and you know learning such a craft of sharing and talking about wine online in a video form on youtube i'm not an english speaker as a first language so it's not easy i know i'm not perfect but because of you thanks to you i am getting better and those videos are making a difference so thank you again for subscribing and all the love and support you are giving me in the comments and on social media we are going to keep exploring the world of wine together so stay tuned to the channel this is going to go somewhere anyway i will see you soon again in the world of wine